uh, Dr. Kenton Kaufman. I'm the uh, director of the Motion Analysis Lab at Mayo Clinic. So the Motion Analysis Lab is uh, designed to study how people move. We uh, analyze the person using the principles of robotics. So we're analyzing the person's movement using the same mathematics. The uh, purpose of the uh, studies are to understand what are the problems that are going on so that they can be treated. And we spend most of the time trying to differentiate between the problems that the patient has and the compensations that the patient has. Uh, the information that is collected here is unique in that this is the one time when people are actually moving. Most of the information that's collected for patients with neuromusculoskeletal problems, uh, they're static, they're laying down. For example, an x-ray, an MRI, a CT, in our case, the patients are actually moving, and so we're studying them while they move. And we look specifically at the, the whole lower extremity, so at both ankles, both knees, both hips, the pelvis, and then the upper extremity as it affects the lower extremity. So when a study is done here, we're getting information at all the lower extremity joints in three-dimensional space. The distinction between the work that we're doing here and, and say work that would be done elsewhere where a person is just uh, uh, observing with uh, say their eyes is that this is very objective information and it's very precise and if a person is just looking with their eyes they can be fooled because that's only a two-dimensional view of what's happening in three-dimensional space. With Chris we have a couple of goals of the study. The first one is to look at the orthoses or the braces that he's using to see if they're beneficial. And the second goal is to look at the medications that he's on to see if they're helping him with his spasticity.